Good morning, ATC. Pastor Soto here. I know that we did not plan on canceling our service when we started last week. However, we have had a major exposure event. Our teens went to Winter Youth Convention and have come back. Many have tested positive and are symptomatic. And so as a result, we have many, many families who are exposed, not the least of which is almost our entire ministry team that we would be involved in our service on Sunday. And so we felt it was just in the best interest of the church not to have service today. However, this coming Wednesday, we will live stream right from my home and I will have a Bible study ready for us and we'll just get into the Word together. I want to remind us that this week is our week, uh, excuse me, our week to emphasize the Word of God as we are beginning a new year. And I want to encourage you to get back into the Word of God and to read it. Let me recommend to you the Psalms. Read one of the Gospels. Read Luke's Gospel and read about the life and the words of Jesus Christ. Let's get into the Word and let's start our year right. In Luke chapter 5, Jesus tells Simon, he says, I want you to launch your boat into the deep and cast down your nets. Let down your nets. And Simon said, Master, we've been fishing all night long. Now let's remember that Simon was not, you know, fishing for a, a trophy. This wasn't a bass tournament. This is his livelihood. And so he had no success. And yet he had fished all night long. That tells us that uh, you know, this was so important to him to be able to have fish, to sustain his family and to sell and, and to live his life. So it's a, been a sort of a train wreck night for him. And I love Simon's response. Now he's had no success and he has a lot of experience in fishing, but he says, nevertheless, at thy word, I'll let down those nets. You know, we need a revival of apostolics who would say, Lord, I'm going to live my life at your word. We look at our lives and some of us look back at 2021 and maybe we have had some lacks, a lacking of success in our lives. And maybe there are some failures in our lives. We need to get back to the timeless word of God and realize that God is the possessor of all wisdom and he has the words of eternal life. The psalmist says that God's word will never fail. The grass withers, the flower fades, but God's word endures forever. And so Simon acted on the word of God. And we know the story that he had so much fish, such a catch, that not only did he fill his boat, but another to the point that they were sinking. Now that is powerful. If you wanna have success in 2022, Let's act at God's word. Lord, I want to respond the way your word tells me to respond. I want to prioritize my life the way your word tells me to prioritize my life. If we will live our lives with that mantra at thy word, we are going to have success in 2022. I'm challenging all of us. Let's get in the word this week and I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. God bless you.